here's what you have to do. Understanding also, the other thing I, that I missed on that is I also have the kids hold the disc like this and just put, bring it down. And I say, okay, have it always facing out. Okay, what do I need to do right here? And they're like, well, switch my hands. What do I have to do here? Oh, switch my hands. And we bring it up again. As they're learning just, the, just the, the movement, as they're kind of doing that kind of stuff. But it is going to be those things, whether you take something and just tossing at them. Uh, a ball, a, a basketball works really well too. It's funny as it is because the basketball, you have to have your hands out like this. I mean, you take the ball and just keep tossing it back and forth. Volleyballs work really well too uh, because they're softer. You can take the air out of the ball and have them just tossing it at them because they have to just learn to feel confident enough that they can stop it. Uh, and you don't really want them catching anything like this and doing it that way. Uh, bean bags work really well too, but Beanie Babies, I use that because it's a funny character and they just kind of take it. I have like a snake that I use that I'll take it and chuck it at them. And they'll have to kind of grasp it through that stuff. But that's kind of what ends up happening with kids. It helps. Throwing it around the room. I just wanted to, I mean, there's a lot more we could be covering, but we're close to that time frame there, so I'm going to figure this to wrap it up. So thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys. I'd be more than happy to uh, have my business cards here somewhere.